Dear Quantum TV, watch this video and listen to me very carefully. You're totally gay. Hello guys, and welcome to another video. Today, Quantum is salty that he got a negative comment on his most recent video about not liking his video and planning on reporting it. An obvious reference to Quantum flagging Minxy, Gara, and Klutzy King 552 And yet, Quantum can't seem to make the comparison that the comment was used to refer to Quantum flagging videos that he doesn't like. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I made a video yesterday talking about the worst TV brands of all time. Now, I wake up this morning, I'm answering comments and stuff like that, and you know what I see? A notification from YouTube saying your channel was permanently removed like it should have been in February of last year? I see the most pathetic, and I have to say this, I, I, I mean, I try not to be mean about these kinds of things, but the most pathetic comment I think I've ever read in the history of my channel. Dang, I was really hoping it was gonna be the notification that his YouTube channel was deleted. Or at least one of them anyway. The comment read simply put that the video was disrespectful and that the video was basically too negative for them and they're thinking about flagging it. This is where we are in society. Nah, Quantum, what that person was doing was giving you a taste of your own vile medicine. Most people in society don't just falsely report people for YouTube videos, and they also don't say the DoorDash drivers don't deserve tips. It speaks more about you than it does the person who made that comment, Quantum. You can't even make a video telling people about 30 of the worst TV brands of all time based off of consumer feedback, right, reliability, and picture quality. Okay, first of all, Quantum, you scam people for about $5 a month for poopy TV settings and most people, for whatever reason, fall for it. Probably because of all the moderating you do over your comments. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Quantum here goes through his comments, liking and hearting the ones that are positive towards him, while either deleting or leaving the comments hidden that are negative towards him and his videos and views. Furthermore, one thing that Quantum is absolutely not good at doing is research. Just look at all the people who crapped all over his Elden Ring review due to it being so poorly researched and having no evidence at all to back it up. Fun fact, Quantum TV's Elden Ring review is the only reason anyone even knows about the guy in the first place. Again, I even mentioned it's not my list. This is like well-researched stuff. You can see it yourself. You can see all these problems yourself if you look into it. But the thing is, just bringing someone that information that maybe owns that TV Oh my gosh, you triggered me. We're at such a state in society where everyone's so hypersensitive, ready to render a hypersensitive reaction and response to something that it's just like, you can't even make a fucking video without people getting triggered. It, I'm so tired of people being this fucking pathetic, bro. There it is, folks. Can you spot it? Can you spot the irony and the projection? He gets triggered over other people making videos on him, so he flags the crap out of them, even when it's fraudulent. But when someone, anyone, does the same to him, it's people getting your feelings, man. And it's like, you know, I seen another comment where the people that have these TVs are just justifying their purchase, right? They're just, most of these people are looking for purchase confirmation. They want to know that they were a good boy and they made a good choice. I don't do that, okay? And, and let me be very clear. This channel doesn't do that. This channel primarily focuses on helping people save money and find the best deals for the same exact dollar amount that they're looking to spend on these garbage TVs. I call massive BS on this one, Quantum. You say your channel is about saving people money when you are actually scamming these same people out of money. I mean, have any of you actually seen any of Quantum's TV settings? I'll save your eyeballs and tell you that they are so ugly it defies belief as to how many people fall for this. Anyways, the point is, Quantum is just lying again as usual. Even though according to YouTube's TOS he isn't, those of us who have a brain do know that what he's doing is scamming. And the thing that gets me is like, why would a guy or gal watch that has an insignia that's watching an insignia find their way onto my channel? I've never reviewed an insignia and never will because I know their sh TVs because I've seen them over the years. And, and the thing is, it's like I show excellent alternatives to these that are literally the same exact price point. Because that is your job, Quantum. Isn't reviewing TV supposed to be how you pay your bills? Also, even if you've seen insignia sh over the years, then wouldn't that give you even more reason to review that TV and try to apply your oh so brilliant settings to it to make it look that much better? Or am I just missing something? Furthermore, how can you sit there and say something is a better alternative without showing evidence to back that claim up? That offer a shit ton more. And I think 
that that realization that maybe they didn't make the right choice, I guess, hurts them more than not. But like for me, bro, like I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, fucking how? Literally, how do you deal with like a, a group of people that like no matter how honest you are with them, you're not saying anything disrespectful, but you're hurting their feelings because they looked at that TV. They said, mm, that insignia, that hot by Emerson, that Hitachi, I want it. It's cheap. Listen, if you fall into the trap that these companies set for you where they lure you in at the lowest possible price point and you don't give a damn about any other feature and then you find out later from somebody like me who's going to be honest with you and tell you, yo, you just wasted that money because this is better for the same exact price. That's not a cross that I have to bear. I don't think Quantum has realized yet that the comment he's talking about is simply trying to show him how bad it is to falsely flag a video. You know, the way Quantum TV has done and continues to do. Like, I think everybody would want to know when there's something better out there and they can save money or, or spend the same exact price point. But it seems like in society today, if you aren't some smiley Mickey Mouse YouTuber that lies through your fucking teeth about everything, like, you're just offensive. And I'll, I'm here to break it to you. I don't care if you want content like that. I don't make that kind of shit. You know something that would be funny? If someone actually made a picture of Quantum TV with Mickey Mouse ears and have a speech bubble with him going, I am thoroughly tickled, ho <laughs> ho! You know what that means, folks. Somebody needs to get out there and get to work on that picture and keep it discreet for God's sakes. I don't need a lawsuit from Disney on my hands, okay? On purpose. Let, let me be very clear, on purpose. Because the point is to help people. I'm not helping anyone by lying through my teeth about what I'm clearly seeing and what is verifiable, bro. You can use science to verify these facts. I mean, about HDR brightness on these budget TVs being shit. You can use science to verify all of the various bugs and defects. Uh, defects, And you can look at just what people are saying. Photographic evidence, videographic evidence online. Quantum, do you even know what the word evidence means? I don't think you do, so I'll put the definition up on screen. There you go, Quantum. What makes this even more infuriating than it already is, is the fact that Quantum didn't show any evidence of what he was saying in that Elden Ring review he made, and he acted like it was supported by science when it really wasn't. I never in a million years thought I would have to make a video like this, and like we would have to have this conversation like, hey, by the way, um, these budget TVs that are like $100, $200 at Walmart, they're not actually great, and, and have to defend my standpoint of like trying to help people. Like, Good God, th this, this is why, this is why this channel struggles so much with viewership and with people following and, and coming back, because let's be real, people don't like the truth. It hurts their feelings. And I mean, look, I'm not even here being disrespectful, but like, you need to know that there is something better out there. You need to know that there's something wrong with these products. I mean, for fuck's sake, they're never going to get better if you want to sit here and tuck your head under a rock. Quantum, your channel is struggling with views and the like are due to at least two reasons. One, you are buying subscribers from a website out there, which, by the way, goes against YouTube TOS. And two, the truth is coming out about what kind of a person you really are. Quantum, there is a phrase that goes, if the first person you meet on any given day is a jerk, then you ran into a jerk. If you run into jerks all day, then you're the jerk. Anonymous already mentioned just how bad a person Quantum TV is in his videos, so I suggest you go watch those, as he knows Quantum personally, I think. I don't know, man. I saw that comment, and I just, wow. And, and, and I see this kind of comment at least five times a week, bro. And it gets to a point where it's like, this is a good amount of people out there. Like, listen, I don't know who needs to hear this, okay? But if you are so in your feelings about somebody telling you that there are flaws, real flaws with a product and helping you by pointing those out and showing you alternatives that you can purchase for the same exact price point, that's not something that you need to take out on the creator showing you this stuff. That's something you need to now soul search because you just don't like new information. Is that what you were told when your copyright claims on the Act Man and Mischief's coverings of your Elden Ring review failed to go through? And I mean, for that, why are you on YouTube? This is not, I'm not here to be like a marketer. I'm not here to join the influencer marketing community. I'm not here to join the affiliate marketing community. Yeah, I could probably pay off my house in no time at all if I did that. But I'm not here to be some snake oil salesman. Complete horse plop. And I think that's the whole point I'm making here. I'm really trying to help you. And if you don't want the help, then you can go somewhere else. But please, for the love of God, don't come here talking about I'm going to flag your video because it's disrespectful. Like, because you got offended because you own one of the TVs on the list. Like, oh well, do better next time. 
be better. Funny you should tell other people to be better when you need to follow that advice yourself, Quantum. Practice what you preach, bro. Anyway, with that, we have now reached the end of this video, and after covering Quantum's god-awful video where he can't understand simple irony, it makes me want to go ahead and start reviewing those games that I've been talking about reviewing on my gameplay channel for a while now, the glory of Heracles games. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.